So you spend so much money on your shopping lately, huh? Probably months or years. Then you realize that those impulse purchases doesn't add any value to your life. At some point, these habits needs to stop. So you find solutions here in YouTube. Then you stumble upon this video. That's a great thing. You know what's good about this community is that there are no rules, but it only teaches you to only acquire and focus on the things that gives importance to your life and set aside or discard the things that doesn't give any significance to your daily living. Hello you guys! I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers. If you are new here, I do perfume reviews, travel videos, lifestyle hacks, and minimalism videos like this. If these contents interest you, please do have a place in your heart to subscribe to this channel. And while you're at it, press the bell icon so you will not miss any videos that I upload every weekend. Today, we are going to discuss about minimalistic ideas that I do not follow. Don't get me wrong, these ideas are really great. I just don't follow them. By the way, my name is Kim and I'm a moderate minimalist. By now, you already know that I'm not an extreme minimalist. I do not have any specific number items to my belongings. I have several clothes, kitchenware, dishes, glasses, furnitures. I do have substantial amount of these items, but I use them all. I'm also not an aesthetic minimalist. I do not have color scheme in my house. From curtains to carpets to bed sheets, they are all in different colors. I also don't have a capsule wardrobe. I love variety. I retain all my belongings as long as it's doing its purpose. I do love the idea of aesthetic minimalism because it's very relaxing to have the same color scheme to your house and having a capsule wardrobe where everything goes with everything. That's easy. Every day you have you don't have to think to pick something from your closet because everything matches, right? But I just don't follow them because as I've said, I'm a frugal person, so I retain all my clothes. I'm in a low buy, no buy situation right now. Now let's go on with plants. Every minimalist videos here in YouTube, I always see that they have plants in their house. I just don't have plants. I cannot maintain having plants. I cannot water them every day. They will die. I don't have the time. This guy, I mean this girl, 
she already takes a lot of my time every week I clean her cage and feed her twice a week that's enough for me but having plants in your house is a good thing it's nice because it clears the air and it brings life to your home so if you love plants good for you next one is good digitizing your photos and mementos I don't do that Maybe daily photos, yes, but important photos, I don't think I can throw them away or discard them and just take pictures of them. No, because these important photos and mementos happens in a specific day and in a specific occasion, so I treasure them. I want them physically while looking at them I want to touch them because it evokes a lot of good memories for me but if you're into that well I have nothing against it so do your thing but for me I just treasure things differently so this next one is going to be so controversial and please don't crucify me for saying this don't this is just me this is my opinion and if it doesn't go with you so leave, just leave it here okay I don't buy clothes in a secondhand store I don't know where you live but here in Japan when you go inside a secondhand store and buy some clothes once you step inside there's this smell that I just can't take the smell of old clothes and I'm kinda afraid that I might get some skin disease from wearing those clothes and if I want new clothing I'll just do my best to find a high quality clothes with a very affordable price but I don't know if you're into that but if it's your thing then good for you but for me that's just not going to happen because first of all fabrics have expiration date you have to change your socks and underwears uh, of course you're not going to buy that on secondhand store but it's just an example and shirts especially those sport shirts those sport shirts are filled with sweats with those previous owners that owns them even though how many washes you do with those clothes those sweats is already embedded in them and then some smell odor might still be in those fabrics so it's just an advice if you want new clothing buy in a discount store but not in a secondhand store just look for high quality items in a budget so that's all I have for you today I hope you did enjoy the content of this video and if you did uh, please don't forget to hit the like button hit the like it will help with the algorithm of this video here in YouTube. So, once again, this is Kim and Chiki. In behalf of Naoki, thank you for watching Nagoya Kim. Make your life easier. And we'll see you again in the next video. Have a great day. Okay? Bye!